Hi all. Um, I wrote a post a couple of months ago um, on my other page, Julian Amos 6, um, about Edward Elgar. It's my favourite um, composer. I came across him for donkeys years ago and became quite a fan. But um, I stopped here in Malvern on the way home to show you uh, something quite interesting, actually. I think it's interesting. Uh, this is uh, Alexandra Road in Malvern. And there we go. If you see that, uh, that says Forley. It's backwards, of course. Always is for you. But that says Forley. Edward Elgar lived in this house, 90, 1891 to 1899. Now, um, one day in 1898, uh, Elgar was an aspiring composer. Uh, but working as a music teacher, he used to cycle uh, on his bicycle, that is, all around the towns and villages in this area, uh, giving music lessons. And, you know, in his spare time, he composed music, and that's what his love was, and that's what he was trying to do. Um, he'd married a young lady from a very wealthy family, and because she'd fallen in love with him and insisted on marrying him, her father had pretty much written her off. Um, uh, out, of, out of all the, the family will and inheritance and everything. But despite this, she had money of her own, and they managed to get this house together, largely due to her, her personal income, uh, called Forley, which is just at this drive. But I'll let you, actually, I'll just mention something else. One day in 1898, Elgar was riding back down this road, having spent the day giving music lessons, coming back to his house here. And he um, came up this very drive I'm walking up now, I wonder if he pushed his bike up this bit. I'd love to know. And he came home to Forley. His house just here, which I'm just going to show you. And uh, while his wife, um, Alice, made tea for him, he sat at the piano in the front room. This is the actual house right here. There we go. That's Forley. And he sat in that front room behind that bay window and started playing a little tune on the piano and his wife Alice came in to him and said what's that you're playing and he said well it's just something I made up it's a it's a little theme based on something else that I've been messing about with and she said it's really good you should build on that so he did and that tune turned into Enigma Variations which is well it made Edward Olga up to this point, remember, he was a music teacher, struggling to be a composer. And um, his very first big hit, if you want to compare it to today's um, terminology. Do they have big hits nowadays? I don't know. Um, was in Enigma Variations. And he wrote it right there in that front room in 1898, one day after work, while his wife made dinner. Isn't that wonderful? Um, Enigma Variations is... Uh, it probably, well, I don't know if it's his most famous, it's perhaps his most favourite, um, the, the people's most favourite, the, the piece he's most famous for, I'm trying to say. Uh, he wrote all kinds of other stuff, pomp and circumstance, marches and things, you know, that are very, very incredibly famous. But um, Elgar, the Malvern Hills, and Enigma Variations, um, you know, they just uh, are the biggest thing he's remembered for. Um, it's called Enigma Variations because originally it was just called Variations because it was a theme, a little piece of music, a little tune with 14 different variations throughout the entire piece. And each one of those variations was based on a friend or somebody he knew. Um, so they've all got different character traits. Uh, one of them, for instance, was, um, I think it's number 11, is 